Hey guys, this is Nick with Nick Does DGI, and welcome to my channel where I cover all things personal finance, stocks, and real estate. In this video, I want to go over M1 Borrow and document how quick and easy this process will be to take out some money so I can reinvest this back into the Nick Does DGI portfolio. So let's get started. So here I am on the M1 Finance platform. If I click on the Borrow tab, you can see that this feature has been activated. And at this time of recording, I can borrow up to $3,600 at a 2% annual interest rate. And for those of you not aware of what M1 Borrow is, this is a feature within the M1 Finance platform where you can borrow up to 35% of your portfolio value and you can use it for a variety of variety of reasons you can plow this back into your portfolio or you can take this money out and send this straight to your bank account so that you can pay for um, you know such things such as your wedding expenses start a business um, handle an emergency remodel your home or even refinance other debts which can actually be a really great idea when at 2% interest rate practically any other consumer debt has a higher interest rate than uh, what M1 Borrow charges. So let's click on Borrow. And it looks like we got this pop-up here where I can notate how much money I want to send take out uh, from this account and uh, where to send this money to. So for you know experimental purposes, let's take out uh, $600 uh, from my main account and send this back. I can either have this transferred externally to a uh, checking or savings account if I want to use it for, you know, to pay down other debts or whatnot, or I can actually put this back into my investing account. And what happened here was um, since I am an M1 Plus user, um, they, I have a 2% borrow rate. And actually, this one's nice where um, I, once I put down the amount of money, this will calculate right here automatically the projected monthly cost. So the cost of borrowing $600 a month is about a dollar. And I mean, to me, that seems pretty crazy um, just for my uh, strategy um, with capital appreciation and dividends. I can easily make more than a 2% it costs to borrow. Uh, it looks like it says that transfers uh, usually completes within a few moments. So let's see how quick that is once I uh, click on continue. Um, okay, another confirmation page. Looks like the transfer has been created. So let's click on done um, let's see so I quickly refresh this page and it looks like um, the M1 borrow uh, transaction went through and um, it looks like I am borrowing 600 right here at a 2% base rate uh, my available credit is $3,000 um, it, it's really nice that they have a visual graph right here of how much I am taking and what I have left over. Um, I am using about 17% of my credit limit. I can pay this back right now or I can borrow more. Okay. And then right here, it looks like I will be billed on the third of every month. Um, I haven't included any interest yet, but it's about 83 cents to a dollar. I think this is lower than a dollar than what I was shown in the previous page, just because February is a shorter month. And I think they do this on a 30 day uh, accrual basis. Um, and on as far as the activity page, it says right here when I first borrowed it, uh, I would assume that once uh, March 3rd is over, then uh, something will show up right here. And then right here you have the status indicator saying that um, right now, since I'm only using such a little bit of the, the borrow amount, I'm, my quote unquote health is in a, a good, great position actually. 
So if I were to take out more, then I would it would start slowly start to go, you know, towards the left side. And at the very bottom, I, you know, I think this is a really important thing to um, notate is uh, we will issue a maintenance call if your account value drops by 92%. And uh, just keep in mind that M1 borrow is essentially taking out uh, margin and investing on margin can be very risky. So please do your own research. Um, but compared to other brokerages, I found that M1 finance places a fairly conservative limit on margin availability up to 35%. I know of some other brokerages where you can actually borrow up to 100% of your portfolio value and uh, most securities require a 25% maintenance margin. So I wouldn't necessarily load up on margin when the market is at all time highs. Um, I actually made a video on my channel not too long ago, so I can link that um, in this video. So um, if you wanna know more about investing on margin, please check that out. And personally, I um, plan to refrain from taking out more in margin or, you know, or M1 borrow until we see more sizable corrections in the market so I can quote unquote buy on the dips. Um, if we head on over to the S&P 500 and go to the past uh, one year chart, um, I plan on taking out um, increments of 10% uh, margin when the uh, market declines 10%. So when the market first declines 10%, that's when I take out another 10% of margin and then when the market dip reaches a 20% dip, uh, then I'll take another 10%. And then when the market crashes 30 plus percent, that's when I uh, plan to take out the final 15%. And if we were just to apply this to um, this past uh, year, um, during the March 2020 COVID crash, you can see that the market crashed almost 34% uh, within this short period of time. And um, if I were to follow these increments of taking out margin and 10% increments, uh, I think that kind of spreads out the risk of um, not buying at the low because, um, you know, no one can predict when the low is, but um, you kind of hedge yourself for the upcoming uh, up bull run. Um, because if I were to, you know, average cost uh, on the margin around this price point, then I could still, you know, reap in all this up, uh, up gains right here. And I think um, that is just a really great way to use some leverage on your portfolio without necessarily taking on insane risk. Once I uh, headed on back to the M1 Finance portfolio, you could see that, um, you know, this process was actually really smooth. Um, can already see that the 600 is already my cash balance um, and it's already queued up to purchase make some purchases this morning and uh, when the market opens in about two hours and if I go on details you can see that the 600 will be spread across you know multiple purchases so as far as um, how quick it is to take out uh, money on M1 borrow i can say that this has been a really pleasant experience and um, if you are interested in checking out m1 finance please use um, my referral link i will link that uh, below until the end of this month they are doing a special promotion where if you fund your account um, you get 30 dollars and i get 30 dollars and that is an awesome rate of return right there so please check that out Please note that this video is not intended as financial advice, nor am I a financial advisor. Past performance is no guarantee of future results, and please do your own uh, research and due diligence when deciding to invest in investable securities. I am just an ordinary guy posting his opinions onto YouTube because I love dividends, stocks, and personal finance. So if you found this content useful, please consider clicking the like button, subscribing to my channel, uh, this helps with the YouTube algorithm and gets my channel noticed. Hit the bell notification to receive the latest alerts as to when the next video will drop. Let's make 2020 your year. Take care.